Well, things are starting to look up. Spring has sprung, it's sunny outside, and uh, even better news, the ball screws have arrived from uh, AliExpress. So in this video, I'm gonna have a go at installing them. So these are the ball screws from uh, AliExpress. And in hindsight, uh, I, I might have been better off buying from eBay, because uh, it looks like there's some UK suppliers who actually stock them in the UK. So that might have saved a bit of time. But to be honest, they look really good quality, so I'm not disappointed. And um, just going through each of these, they're all um, part number SFU1605. And this is a 250mm one. Um, this one's a 600mm one. And this is a 550mm one. And they come with their own bearing blocks. Now Olivier's designed his own uh, bearing housings. Um, so I can do away with these and I, I did think about sort of pressing these bearings out but to be honest I don't know I don't know whether they're great quality or not so what I've decided to do is to uh, buy some F SKF bearings now on this end here it's a 10 millimeter shaft so I've purchased these SKF 6200-2 RSH bearings from uh, bearings are us but other suppliers do them and um, the, obviously it's got an inside diameter of 10 millimeters an outside diameter of 30 millimeters and a width of 9 millimeters now on this end the shaft is 12 millimeters in diameter so I've gone and bought these SKF 6201-2 RSH bearings and uh, these have obviously got an internal diameter of 12 millimeters an outside diameter of 32 millimeters and a width of 10 millimeters and uh, these ball screws also come with these couplers here so uh, let's see how we get on now in one of my previous videos I mentioned a limitation of the power feed on the x-axis and that is it would only run with the spindle running which is a bit of a limitation on this uh, Waco WM18 mil and uh, uh, Dave Tyshurst in Australia, he, he provides me with loads of sort of hints and tips and uh, gets me to spend money on things that I probably shouldn't. Um, he suggested that I actually uh, modified the mill. Uh, so what he suggested is, and what I've done, is that the power feed for the motor came off the controller box here. Uh, so what I've done is I've just cut that off and terminated it in a box here and on the other end I've just put a three pin plug on it uh, so now I can uh, use the power feed without the spindle turning and it comes in really useful for uh, checking things out like this And that looks pretty close. So here I'm just uh, tapping the holes in the rear frame. Um, these will hold um, the bearing block and also the motor mount. So uh, Olivier's designed a variety of uh, bearing housings and this is an example of one of them and uh, this is the top of the uh, z-axis and there's a bearing built into uh, that actual top and uh, that's it there and on the bottom um, we've uh, added one here and likewise that's a typical bearing block there which will go on there I think that's the y-axis and uh, it's looking pretty good so far I need to uh, make a spacer for in there do, do a few bits and bobs the rails will go on there uh, but I think now I'm in a position where I can uh, have a go at fitting the uh, ball screws 
for the X and Y axis. And this is an example of uh, one of the bearing housings on the uh, X axis. And that's the other one on the opposite side of the X axis. Well, this initial assembly is looking pretty good. Um, unfortunately, this block here that should go under here is about 22 thou too high and it's consistent throughout the length of the screw. So um, I can either sort of skim 22 thou off that, which I'll probably have to skim some off there as well, or I can shim it. I'll probably just shim the sides. Now this confused me a little bit um, because these holes here don't align up to these holes on here and that's because of this uh, connection here on the ball screw and I contacted Olivier about it and silly me I'd not looked at the drawing and there's um, a special connector to be made for that which will bolt onto here. And this is another of Dave uh, Tyser's uh, suggestions. Uh, this Excel belt sander, I think it was only about 65 quid on eBay. So that's the connector made and it's just a matter of uh, taking that off and uh, bolting it onto the uh, ball screw nut like that and that should allow these to come in a lot closer. So I'll uh, take it apart again, I'll reassemble it and then I'll get back to you. Well I'm absolutely amazed how well this has gone together. Um, in hindsight I don't think uh, this area was a problem. Um, I fitted that first and then bolted this down and uh, seems to work very freely. So I'm happy with the Y axis. The X axis seems to work perfectly. I need to put a bush in here somewhere, so there's a bit of movement, so I need to sort that out. And uh, the Z-axis, I need to make another connector, like I did on uh, the X-axis, so I can put a plate on here. Um, but that ball screw's turning very nicely, so uh, all in all, very impressed. Well, for those wanting a video that contained a lot of uh, machining, um, I guess you'd be disappointed because, to be honest, it's just a matter of drilling and tapping holes really in the right places uh, most of the time. Um, and I can't believe that, that the uh, drawings that Olivier has produced, they're absolutely fantastic and everything pretty much fits together perfectly. Um, and you know, when I've had uh, any sort of questions on the plans, uh, Olivia's got back to me sort of pretty much straight away. It's unbelievable. Um, but anyway, now I need to be thinking about um, what next. So I think I, I need to get on and order some um, NEMA 23 stepper motors. And um, I'm undecided uh, regarding the controller. Now, I don't want a controller that requires a dedicated PC and I think Mac 3 and Mac 4 needs a dedicated PC, I could be wrong. Um, and I know the, I think it's an SMC5 is supposed to be um, uh, a decent controller with its own sort of screen. Uh, but I've also come across another controller um, that's distributed from the uh, USA, it's uh, Build Biotics. And I think um, that's sort of browser based so you can you know, use a laptop or what have you um, just to connect through it uh, to it uh, I think wirelessly 
um, or through a network connection anyway. And uh, that looks sort of quite interesting to me because I, I think it's got its own um, stepper motor, whatever you call them, um, drivers in them. So if I went for that option, I wouldn't have to buy sort of three drivers, which are quite expensive. It all adds up. Um, but if anybody's any sort of um, suggestions on controllers, I'd really appreciate it. Because to be honest, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, like I say, what I want is something that's uh, that doesn't require a dedicated PC. And the other thing I've, I've learned with buying from AliExpress and sort of bang, places like Banggood, it takes forever for stuff to arrive. So I'd be a bit reluctant to go down that route as well. I mean, those ball screws took forever. Uh, but anyway, like I say, if anybody's any suggestions on that, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later.